what is going on guys I wanted to compare my DIY pressure pulse sensor to the Rodkey sensor so I have them both in the tailpipe about 15 inches in plugged up the car is hot and idling let's see what kind of signal we get on our Zoe scope I put it in the shade so you guys can see it so the yellow one is the Rocky and the blue one is the is my DIY sensor and you can see they're quite similar they're different voltage scales but they're really similar. I'm just going to take a screenshot. Take a couple of screenshots of this so we can take a closer look at it later. So they look like they're pretty much right on top of each other. And nice clear signal there. Pretty happy with that. Thought you guys might be interested in checking that out. I'm just going to take one more screenshot just for fun. And uh, we'll take a look at that. I'll, I'll post some of these so you can take a closer look at the waveforms. All right, guys. Uh, one other thing I just want to point out about this DIY sensor right here is I modified it by making some openings in it because it just turned out to give a much better signal. I was getting a lot of like reflections and a lot of noise when this was sealed. So I can't use this for the intake like the one I can't like this rod key but it still works great for this application thanks so much for checking it out guys really appreciate you watching and of course give me your thoughts and comments have a great day